Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to quickly show you how to remove the add to cart button on a Shopify product page if for some reason you don't want to sell that product on your website and you may want to link for my for in this instance for me why I know how to do it is I want in the description to say link to learn more or link to take training I want for some of my products people need to sign up for the training via a different website so I'm going to remove the add to cart and I'm going to say link to click the link to, to learn more for training right so let's get rid of the add to cart what we're going to do is create a new template and then within the product, we select a different template, right? So firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my back end. I'm going to go to online store in themes. Themes will be highlighted to go up to actions, edit code. So you're going to want to save. You don't want to mess about. This might be a bit too much for you, but you'll be fine if you just follow, follow me exactly, right? Come down to sections. Most Shopify stores now have sections. If you don't have a section section in your theme, this video won't work for you. But if you've got a place where it says sections uh, and then it says product, no card, uh, product template, product liquid, right? I want you to select all and copy it. This is your default. Um, this is your default template right so just go and i don't know create an email somewhere and just paste it in so you've got it in case anything happens you've got it somewhere else right so what we're going to do is copy that so select all and copy like we know we've done and then create a new uh we're going to create a new i thought i deleted this delete i've already tested it so let me get rid of that Make sure that other one's gone as well. Product liquid, right? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new template. So we're going to call it template uh, product liquid, right? So add a new section. We're going to call it uh, template uh, product no cart, right? And create section. So that's now got. I've got a, a template here, which is my default template, template dash product liquid. And then I've got this one template product, no card. I'm now going to select all and delete and then paste in the default, the default um, template, right? And I'm going to close that template and save. So we've not changed anything at this point. I'm just going to leave it like this for now, right? So we've created a new template, which is exactly the same as the old one. Now what we've got is we need a different template that points to our new uh, section. So what we're going to do is create a new template, add new template, a new product template. I'm going to call it no, uh, no cart button, right? Great. So now I've got product no cart button, which points to that template, the old one. Like this one points to this one, but I want it to point to this template. So we go down here and it's this one product dash no dash cart. That's it. So I'm going to change this to product no cart. Right. That's that one. So the, the original is pointing to the original. You're not going to change that, but the product no cart template now points to this section. OK, so let's save everything. A little blue dot saying you need to save it. So now what will happen is if I go to products and I go to my t-shirt, in the te you're going to have this box now. You met you wouldn't have had it before because you only had one template, but now I've got a product no no chart no cart button, right? So I've got a product that shows the cart and a product that no cart, right? Now, so I save it. I say show this product on that um, template. We haven't edited the code, so it's still going to show the button. So what I want to do is get rid of this add to cart and get rid of this quantity, right? So now at this point, it may get different for you. It may change. So what I'm going to do is go back to my store, go back to my edit code. It's remembered what was open before, but I'm going to come down to sections and I'm going to go product no card button. Oh, sorry, sections, product, let me close that. Product, no card, no cart button, right? So I'm going to come down and find the button. It's here. So you might want to, you know, do a search, uh, add 
to cart and look for the add to cart code which will be in a button uh, as you come down come on depends what your cart says add to cart here right so button type submit name add this may change for you you want to be careful here you've got the save you've got the save template remember you've got the save so if you change anything you can edit it back but i want to get rid of look quantity box starts here quantity all the way down to here now if i want to just get rid of the button i'm just going to delete this button here so this is the add to cart button i'm going to delete it save it if i go back to this product and refresh it the add to cart button's gone but it still says quantity i don't need the quantity right so i'm going to delete the quantity box right so where's the quantity so it's all the way from single product available the tools right uh quantity quantity box right i'm going to delete this section remember you've got it saved remember it's not a worry if you make a mess right so now when i go back and hopefully that quantity box is going to disappear so now now i've got rid of add to cart and i've got rid of uh, the quantity box right so all you've got to do create a new section create a new template and then when you go to products you will have the option to to uh, choose a new template right so down here in templates current one is the one we're watching no add to cart let me delete all this no add to cart if i want it to show add to cart i just go back to the default product save and view back to as it was right now if i want to edit this even more i'm gonna go view if i want to get rid of price i'm gonna go back to my theme i'm gonna go back to edit code it actually sometimes remembers where you were before so let's just make sure you're in the product yeah you might close this right go to section template product no cart and I might go, I want to change, uh, get rid of single product price, get rid of single details, right? Uh, delete that and save it. Right, and you go on, and then someone says, oh, we need the price, put the price back on, right? You've got the code. So go back here, copy all your code, go back to where you were here, select all, delete, paste save refresh everything comes back go back down to your button uh, find your button find the box for quantity uh, div class profit delete save refresh right so don't worry if you break it as long as you've got a copy right and make sure you don't edit the original file because there's always a copy there as well you can just copy all this and jump it across again but hopefully that helps hopefully you know as i say create a new section which is your new product and then create a new template for the product template uh and then you're going to get that option to to do it so then you can start messing about with all sorts of different templates for all sorts of different products uh, in another video i'm going to show you how to add a button to buy on amazon i'll show you how to link to another website which is what i'm going to do uh, and all sorts of fun like that all right hope it helped cheers guys